What's up boss and welcome back to the Lux Boss channel. I hope that you guys are doing well and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Uh, as you can see, we're kind of vlogging today, but also this vlog is a little bit more focused. Y'all know I'm always talking about how I wish my vlogs were a bit more focused on like certain things. So today I do have one thing that I for sure want to cover through this video. I'm not sure what else will be thrown in. Like I said, it's just going to be like a business vlog, but there's one thing that I definitely want to cover overall in this video and that is making my recipe book. I am so excited about this because this is something that I have been aiming for for a while now and um I was able to find an easy way to kind of create my um, recipes on a sheet that's easy to follow. So I'm gonna show you guys that method and exactly how I do it. I'll still do maybe a separate video of like um, explaining like the conversions and everything that I talked about in a previous vlog, conversions and why each product um, or why each um, batch of a product needs needs to equal 100%. I know a few people had questions in regard to that. There's still a ton of videos out there and a ton of uh, like articles and things of that nature that you can definitely just Google and it will help you to understand everything. But if you guys still want some type of detailed video kind of showing how I do it, then I'll definitely do that as well. But if you are looking for just like I'm gonna say it the quick way something that's gonna give you the exact numbers that you need you know write correct results and all that stuff and you're not really you're not really too um, technical like you don't need a, a super long explanation you don't need me sitting here like running down why this is so important then today's video is definitely for you uh, before we jump into this vlog I just want to tell you guys thank you so so much for all of your recent support and just all of your support overall in this entire journey and thank you to all of your support on the video that I did the Q&A videos that I did thank you for that as well uh, and if you're new here thanks so much for clicking on this video I greatly appreciate it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up it just lets me know that you guys like this type of content and that this video was actually you know good and then also don't forget to hit the subscribe bar down below and hit the, hit the notification bell so you know every single time there's a new upload so let's go ahead and just jump right in today we're going to be creating the recipe book like I told you guys and it's not like a, a actual like physical book it's just a binder so yesterday I went in and calculated all of my sheets with every last recipe that we have and even potential recipes that we're going to have on Luxa Glow this is just going to make my life so much easier they're all here. I think it's about 30 different sheets here. Um, and we're going to do like a mock-up of a recipe. I'm going to give you guys a really easy body butter recipe. If you want to use it, you can. It's up to you. Um, but we're going to do like a little mock-up recipe. And um, I'll show you guys exactly how to put this stuff into the website. So if you guys don't know, one of my, I guess you could say like one of my most used vendors for um, ingredients or products or things of that nature is Wholesale Supply Plus. I get a lot of stuff from Wholesale Supply Plus. Um, granted, I have other vendors, but they're definitely in like my top five. I go to them at least, I'm gonna say at least two to three times a month, I am placing some type of order on there. Now I will say you kinda gotta get in when you fit in because they sell out of stuff so quickly, especially if you are looking for like containers or um, like really some of their more natural ingredients that are on there, they sell out really quickly. There is a product or an ingredient that's on there that I'm waiting to get my hands back on um, for a particular product that we are out of stock on, our um, rose and aloe face mist y'all they're claiming that they're not going to be restocked until next year on this product and i'm really devastated because i need this product back restocked so i don't know what to do but that's just an example of how popular this website is i think that it is maybe one of the number one um wholesale websites when it comes to skincare candle making um they do have some things on there for um soaps and stuff as well so uh lip glosses also if you're interested they have like tubes and they have a lot of stuff on there you just have to check it out and kind of get in where you fit in um if you're looking for um some stuff that's kind of inexpensive then i would definitely check them out as well but they're definitely in my top five for sure so i use their website for their batch calculator which is what i'm going to be sharing with you guys today 
who knew they had a batch calculator and come to find out a lot of these wholesale websites actually have batch calculators you just gotta go find them they're like hidden on the website the other thing that i love about wholesale supply plus um i mentioned this in the q a video as well if you're kind of just starting out and you're looking for some very simple recipes under some of their ingredients they actually give you recipes on how to use the product which i think is really really cool so um that's another reason why i love the website because it's just it's very much so beginner friendly and user friendly um, but we're going to be creating Luxa Glow's recipe books so that we can follow along and every time we make a product or in a, you know, make a product or have to batch a product, we will have our own binder. Um, I am going to make Jamal his own separate binder as well because as we expand, which I'm claiming it right now, as the business expands, especially now that we're getting more into wholesale, he is going to be helping me a lot more. You guys know that eventually your girl is going to be moving. And so um, I want to set up a process that he and I can follow, um, even though he is over operation. So he should be doing this, <laughs> but it's okay. Um, this weekend, he is going to be presenting me with like some new stuff that he wants to see us implement, which I think is cool um i'm enjoying this like collaborative effort that we have going on right now it's kind of it's kind of cool um if you ever get the chance to like work with someone who's close to you or um work with like a family member or even your spouse or partner um as long as you guys are um open this is a question that i get a lot actually as long as you guys are open to communicating um you really have to treat it like a business number one like we when we talk about business stuff we schedule time for it we schedule an allotted amount of time we have you know files we we're very focused we don't just treat it as like some random throw off you know type of thing but if you ever get the chance to work with somebody close to you as long as you um continue to keep the communication kind of open and you guys are on the same page and always keeping each other updated with your ideas that's the biggest thing because sometimes for me especially i will have an idea and just kind of jump on it and jamal will be like you didn't talk you, you didn't speak to me about that babe you ain't you ain't tell me about that <laughs> but yeah um that was a terrible impression i'm sorry babe but anyway um yeah if you ever get the chance as long as you keep your communication open and actually share your ideas like when they come to me i immediately text them to him and then we have a conversation about them don't hold on to them because you'll find yourself trying to do stuff by yourself and so this is one of the things that he really was pushing for us to have was some sort of notebook uh, not notebook but some sort of actual binder that was properly put together um that was professional something that we could both look at and eventually down the line as we expand anybody will be able to read these recipes and just follow instructions and create a product and it'll come out exactly how it needs to come out every single time so that i have not used and so i need to use it and i might create something for the front of this just to make it not so plain because it's so boring um or i might print something and then i also have a ton of dividers i need to get some more but i have a ton of dividers here um i was trying to find some in dollar tree last night but apparently they didn't have any dividers i don't know what was going on and then i also got this red binder but this red binder is going to be a part of the project that we work on this weekend, which is going to be like policies and procedures um, and all that stuff is going to go inside of here. This is going to be like if we were to I'm speaking it into existence, if we were ever to hire someone, they would start at this this binder first and kind of just go through and be like, OK, history, policy, procedure, brand, da 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 da. Like they're going to be able to flip through and understand all that. So we're going to be working on that this this weekend. This is going to take a long time. Um, the reason I got red is because I feel like all the real important stuff is going to be in here. So we're going to put that in here. We're going to put budgets and all that type of stuff inside of here. So getting real serious over here, trying to, you're never, let me tell you something. Your business is never too small for you to start to structure your business as if you are already you know a six-figure business or if, as if you are already you know already bringing in the big income do not cut yourself short or sell yourself short okay start getting serious before now um we are claiming six figures this year i'm speaking it into existence and i'm just gonna have to start running my business as if it's already bringing in six figures so that's that so we're gonna start by creating our notebook today if you also want to follow along go get your binder if you have an extra binder you could even use a folder or something as long as you just have something where everything is held in one spot i told you guys before that my computer is like my baby i carry this with me everywhere every time i have a recipe that i need to do i pull this up and i always have my green notebook but we need kind of like a motherboard if i was to lose the computer tomorrow and lose the notebook we need a motherboard we need the home base where everything is you can make copies of it you can scan it and put it back on the computer we need something that's like 
right there. So that is where this um, came up at. So I'm gonna show you guys the process of me sh share with you a really quick, easy body butter recipe. If I'm not mistaken, this was my very first body butter recipe. It's very simple and it's gonna give you a really nice butter. Um, I'm not just giving it to you just randomly. I actually have used it before. It's just that now I have changed a few ingredients um, of my personal body butter. So I'm just gonna share with you guys this one. I'm gonna pull up my computer and bring you guys over here to um, the web or to the website and show you guys what it looks like and how to plug everything, plug and chuck everything in. And then eventually um, I'll probably put on the screen like the actual recipe somewhere on the screen if you are interested. But yeah, we're gonna do that. And then I'm gonna put everything inside of here and we'll get started with our recipe book. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring y'all over in a second. So hopefully you guys can see this. Once again, the name of this website is Wholesale, um, Wholesale Supplies Plus .com. So if you go to the home page, which I should have done a screen recording of this, and I'm so sorry. As you can see that right now, they're actually having a summer sale for all of their um, palm oils and uh, select summer fragrances, I guess, and soap bases. So if you're interested, I definitely just stocked up on soap bases today. But if you go to the bottom, you're gonna see all of these different options here. So you have lye calculator if you are making your soap, you know, completely fresh without using like a melt and pour soap base, then you can use the lye calculator. They have a fragrance calculator, how much fragrance to put in if you get the fragrances off of here. Um, they also have a batch calculator, which is what we're gonna be using. And they also have a percentage calculator. So we are going to take, um, we're gonna be using the batch calculator and I'm gonna to try to do this as easy as possible. Um, I know you guys probably can't see super close, but I'll make sure to get like some screenshots and all that stuff on here for you guys. So to start this recipe off, we're gonna name this recipe and I'm just gonna put whipped body butter or you can put anything. And then you're gonna to see total batch volume. Um, I'm gonna also put um, screenshots or whatever on the screen just because I messed up and did not do this did not record this the way that it needed to be recorded got you guys a little bit closer hopefully that helped a little bit so in total batch volume which is this section here um in total batch volume we're going to be putting the volume of the container so for example these glass containers that i get here are eight ounce glass containers um if it was going to be like a four ounce bottle you want to put sorry a four ounce bottle you want to put the actual size of whatever the container is um, that you're gonna be using. So I'm just bringing the light close, sorry y'all. So we're gonna just say that this is gonna be an eight ounce because most people when they make their, bo their body butters, they do an eight ounce container. So total batch volume is gonna be eight ounces. You wanna keep this at ounces. If you do not keep this at ounces, it will give you the wrong measurements. I'm telling you, I did this yesterday and I kept putting it in grams because I measure things out in grams on the scale. It wasn't clicking to me that this needed to be ounces, the actual, you know, I mean, if you want to do the grams of the container and go measure all your containers, you can, but save yourself the trouble because you know what size ounce you ordered. So we're going to do eight ounces, which is eight ounces is the total batch volume. That's the volume of the container. Okay. So for the first ingredient, we're gonna start out with shea butter. And for shea butter, we're going to do shea butter at 55%. And then say you wanted to add mango butter, we're gonna do mango butter at 25%. And down at the very, very bottom, which you guys probably cannot see, um, let me just try to tilt you. There we go down at the very very bottom is going to give you your total batch volume so far so it's going to tell you what is going on so far so i love um i love the texture that shea butter and mango butter give together um it's just a nice creamy texture it's just about as creamy as shea butter and cocoa butter but like i said i wanted to give you guys an easy recipe um easy recipe that I've used once before or have used before so yeah I'm doing shea butter and mango butter just for the sake of the video so this shea butter we're gonna do at 55% mango butter butter we're gonna be do at 25% the more oil that you add the creamier your product um, mango butter and shea butter kind of have almost the same softness to them they're about the same so if you wanted to do cocoa butter I would only do about 10% because cocoa butter is a harder butter I've showed you guys that before cocoa butter is a much harder butter so I would only do 10% of cocoa butter and I probably do 65% of shea just to even that out a little bit more and then add my oils so for oils 
I, we're gonna do um, vitamin E. Uh oh. We're gonna do vitamin E oil, and we can do sweet almond oil, and we're going to do 10% of sweet uh, vitamin E, 10% of sweet almond oil, and then that is gonna give you uh, 100%. Now, if you're adding fragrance to your body butter, you can do fragrance, and then um, the calculator on here is gonna give you, but just take away something. Um, so for example, if I wanted to do 5% fragrance, I'm gonna make this 50, and I'm gonna give myself 5% fragrance, and that's still gonna give me 100%. This container should equal 100%. Everything that's in here should be 100%. So I did 50% shea butter, 25% um, mango, vitamin E oil at 10%, sweet almond oil at 10%, gonna make your butter so creamy. It's like the most amazing moisture. <laughs> it's really, really nice. And then fragrance, you could do 5%. But if you didn't wanna add fragrance, you could add that five back to one of the butters, or you could even add it to one of the oils. It depends, just, it really depends on you. I'm just giving you guys an example. You don't have to use this at all. This is just something that I've tried, a recipe that I've tried before. Um, and it works for me so yeah you could add fragrance for five percent but don't forget that on wholesale supply plus let me just show you down here at the bottom let me go back to the front page down here at the bottom so for example um if you wanted to do the fragrance calculator so for example on here if you buy a fragrance from here and let's just say i'm gonna put in that i'm making body butter there's a lo long list of things you can put. We're gonna put in that we're make, uh, using an oil. One of my favorite oils to use from um, Crafters Choice uh, for certain things is the Energize. Actually, it's a FOEO blend. So let me just, here we go. Energizing blend. Um, and let's say the product is eight ounces. hit calculate it's going to tell me the percent to you so it's telling me that the max percent that i should be using is uh or the max percent that i should be using is 16 but the percentage that is um suggested is three percent so three percent should be used in that actual batch so just just say that you were actually using this particular fragrance for our oil here we would just put three percent there and it's not at um this makes our total batch volume not at 100, so we would need to add those two extra uh, percentage, or the two percent uh, left. We would need to add that to something. So you could come up here and just make this 52, and that would give you 100. So hopefully that makes sense. That probably was a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and screenshot this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna screenshot this without the fragrance. We're gonna remove the fragrance and just do the standard but now that you know you know you can play around with the numbers to switch it up um you can also play around with the percentages you might not want to do um 10 percent vitamin e or 10 percent sweet almond you might want to only do five and give yourself more butter you might want more of a thicker butter especially it's winter time you might want a thicker but butter versus or a more moussey thick butter versus a more creamy you know super soft butter you might want something a little bit thicker um depending on the type of butter if it's a hair butter you might want it to actually be thicker so this thing right here it does not mean this calculator does not mean that you have to purchase the stuff from this website if you already have your stuff your vendors and all that stuff check their website because they might actually have a calculator similar to this but if you just want to use a calculator that is um, kind of readily available and easy to access then definitely check this one out you don't have to have the ingredients actually here um, you don't actually have to have these the ingredients from this website in order to use it is what I'm saying. It's free. You don't have to have an account or anything like that. It's completely free. So I'm going to go ahead and screenshot this for you guys. Uh oh, I screenshotted the wrong thing. I'm going to screenshot this as a you know easy recipe for you guys. Oh, one thing I forgot. I completely forgot this. So once you do this, um, and you get your ingredients in there. We got four ingredients. We got the measured out percentage that equal 100. You're going to come to the bottom and hit calculate. 
and that's gonna give you exactly how many grams each product needs to be or if you measure it well I doubt that you would measure in millimeters do not me measure in mill milliliters sorry not millimeters but milliliters um, if you measure in pounds or ounces based on your scale however you do it I personally do grams it's just what I've been doing ever since I started skincare and I'm kind of used to it but if you want to measure in ounces you can if you want to measure in pounds you can if you want to me measure in milliliters you can and if you want to measure in grams they give you all four options but because I do grams, say I wanted to make 10 8 ounce body butters. I would just take the number, each number, and multiply it by 10, and that would tell me how much of each uh, ingredient to put in. So if I wanted to do, um, for example, for the shea butter, shea butter in grams comes out to 124 grams, 124 grams, 0.74. 124.74 grams. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm all over the place. So let's just say that I wanted to do that. I would go to my calculator and I would just do uh, 124.74 times. I want to make 10 8 ounce bottles, um, 10 ounce jar. I mean, 10 8 ounce jars of shea butter times 10, and that's how much shea butter needs to go into my blender. So that'll just tell you that. The next ingredient is mango butter. So say I wanted to make 10. Um, again, I'm gonna do the grams of one, um, the grams for one eight ounce for mango butter times that by 10. That's how many grams of mango butter needs to go in, okay? So you're gonna eventually do that and I would do it before you start your recipe to save yourself time, especially if you know how many jars you wanna make and just add it up and then you'll know exactly how much of each product needs to go into your into your bowl or in mixer or whatever so this is super duper helpful all you have to do like i said is multiply these numbers by uh, multiply these numbers by the number of jars that you want to create um because the the batch volume has already been included in this calculation i don't know how they do the calculation don't ask me that's why i said this is super easy if you are not if you're like me and you're not a math genius you're not you know into formulas and all this stuff this is where my fiance comes in because he could do this stuff in his head but he's not here every day I don't have him every day I need something that's easily accessible so this is why this tool is amazing any batch calculator like this that you can find online utilize it most of them are free so that's that I'm gonna go ahead and screenshot this again for you guys and I'm going to put this in on the screen somewhere so you guys could screenshot it super easy recipe you can switch these oils out you can change all of this up you can go to this website and switch it all up if you want to you can even print these recipes which is what i did so i printed all of my recipes just like this and you just print the page you can switch it to you know um landscape or whatever and you just print it so now we're going to get started and i'm going to put everything inside of my um binder now that I have all of my recipes done, I'm gonna start out with my binder. And I did just realize that I needed to need to get some type of dividers to divide them up based on like body care or body butters, hair care, skin care, which I'll get eventually. But I'm gonna go ahead and just do that. Um, do that for now, just in order. So I'm gonna start out with body butters and just slide it right into my sheet. And then we're gonna put them in. I think I am gonna do front and back um, just so that I could save some, you know, save some paper. So I'm gonna do front and back of a few things, especially like hair care recipes and all that stuff. <laughs> 